Good morning, everybody. It's like five in the morning, and I'm up to go fish a tournament this morning. I'm a couple hours away from the house on a lake that I have been on once in the past like five years. So we're gonna go give it a try, and I'm gonna be fishing some club tournaments this year. It's a club open tournament. Uh, so I'm gonna give it a try all by myself today, and all these eight hour tournaments that I have in this club will be all by myself today. So we're gonna really give it a try. I think there's a few studs in this, uh, in this club. We're going to really give it this try and give us a good go. Uh, Check-ins are on 6, take-offs are on 6.45-ish, so we're going to give it a try. Weather today is looking kind of iffy, looking kind of iffy. It's supposed to rain today, it's supposed to rain all weekend. It's a two-day tournament today, uh, today and tomorrow. It's supposed to rain on both days. So guys might be in the waterproof case, so if the audio is kind of wonky, sorry. Uh, I think the wind's going to be kind of up today too, but there's some spots on this lake that I can hide away from the rain, you know, or hide away from the wind, I should say. Uh, this lake also has some giant fish in it. Uh, I did talk to one of the guys that stayed in this hotel. Uh, he did catch a big one yesterday, but he said the fish are moody, so we'll see what happens. But we're going to get after it. If you guys are new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys at the lake. Well, guys, after like almost an hour wait at the ramp, uh, we get started. I had the 17 boats, and I drew 16. Uh, but I got to my first spot. I'm all by myself, so hopefully it pays out. All right, guys, let's get after it. Well, that was the first bass of the day. We need giant ones that could eat that one. But it's been a bit fish. Fish number two. Still not the right size we need. Hopefully we'll find some. Dang it. I lost the first good one I had all day. Alrighty, midday update. I just lost a three pounder. Uh, that would have put one in the box for me. It is 11.29. Stumbled across something, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, it's been pretty tough. Talked to one other boat, and they've they've had some tough times too. But we're gonna give it a try. Stick tuned, and hopefully we'll pull something out. All right, go from losing a three pounder to catching that, but. At least I have found fish in this spot now. Let's keep on going. Uh, 
Well, it's been a while, guys, but I finally got another small one. I cannot get a fish on the boat that's a wool six inches. Let that one go back. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Alright guys, I got another one. Let's do another one back. This one's a tiny bit bigger, so he might go 12. We gotta see. Alright guys, we got a frost keeper on the board and it's 256. Weigh ins at 4 o'clock. That's a giant cat. Biggest flatheads ever. Oh. oh my. I thought that was a giant bass sitting down there. Wow. Whew. What time is it? 325. Cool. Give me my football chick back. That's all I want. That is a giant cat, guys. That's probably one of the biggest catfish I've ever caught. Whew. I thought he, 
I thought it was a big old bass sitting down there on that rock. Well guys, I am back at the room. It was tough. It was a tough day. I think, I think 12 pounds is leading it right now. I weighed in like 186, 185 with that fish I had. Uh, missing that three pounder that I had earlier, and I think I might have missed a, a little small two pounder on a spook this morning, but it's kind of tough. Uh, but hey, the catfish was fun right there at the last 30 minutes of the tournament, which was really fun. Uh, but hopefully, we can put a big bag together tomorrow and move up the leaderboard, maybe get a little some money in there, maybe not. Either way, having really, really a lot of fun, uh, really trying to just learn this lake a little bit better because I don't know it that well and also just kind of just going with my gut instincts not not second guessing myself and I did that all day of the day and uh, everywhere I went I caught fish Every, it might not have been the biggest fish but I caught fish everywhere I went which really makes me feel good because I could roll up instead of catching that six inch it could have been a six pounder so that makes me feel good that everywhere I went I caught fish and I was throwing the right baits at the right time. But anyways guys, I'm going to try to get this uploaded and do a little editing on this video and rest up, get the GoPro battery charged, and get ready for tomorrow for day two. So stick around for that video next. Alright guys, as always, go out, have some fun, catch your fish, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.